This is one of the vehicles in our line of armored tactical units. It can be used for troops, it can be used for SWAT, border patrol, or multiple military purposes. It's almost a two to one vehicle to the, to the Humvee. You're almost double the mileage on it, you're almost double the speed, almost double the climbing rate that it can do. It's just by far a better vehicle all the way around. I've been driving this thing every day. It drives great. It does accelerate extremely well. It brakes great. It basically handles like a 20,000 pound sports car. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a four-wheeling beast. It will go through some stuff that you just really wouldn't believe it will go through. It'll take inclines and take terrain that, that far surpassed what we actually thought it would when we started this. It can run about zero to 60 in about 12 and a half seconds. Most of the vehicles you have out there that are armored to this extent are very awkward. If you turn too fast, they roll. This truck really handles very well. Whether it's on the road or off-road, it's a pleasure to drive. We can fit the rear to whatever you want. We can make it a full luxury type vehicle inside, or we can make it a rugged troop carrier situation. We can design it to fit whatever fits your need. The Edge our vehicles have are a few different things. One, we're 520 horsepower. It climbs unbelievably. We're capable of speeds of above 100 miles an hour. We've designed a, a 200 horsepower electrical engine that we can put on this thing. This gives you a lot better fuel mileage. You're gonna get about 20 miles a gallon in the city. The electric horsepower is right when you touch the accelerator, it's 200 horsepower right then. There's no hesitation, there's no lag time. That combined with the diesel engine is gonna give you unbelievable acceleration. It'll far surpass the 12.5 seconds zero to 60 once that's installed. That's gonna give you a, a really strong amount of torque. It's gonna to give you just an extremely powerful vehicle. If you need to plow through something, you've got the power to plow through it. Not only that, but when you come into an area, say you're in a tactical situation where you're bringing a convoy in, when you switch to the silent mode of it, you can sneak up as quiet as an electric golf cart. We do regenerative braking. Hit the brakes and you'll actually recapture about 85% of that energy into your batteries. When you hit the gas pedal, then we'll use the electric motor to actually do the acceleration. The run flat tires, you've got about 50 miles on those tires after they've been shot. Up Armored Humvee still isn't at the protection level that this is. You've got 360 degree protection, but you've got protection above and below as well. The armor is actually designed with a dual layer of uh, armor plate. We have a quarter inch on the outside, a layer of foam, and then another quarter inch on the inside. Inside of that inner armor layer, we also have a heat exchanger that actually we do our solar cooling with. Our solar bear cooling and solar blocking systems actually keep the vehicle comfortable to get in even if it's been parked. The solar bear cooling that keeps a, a constant flow of fresh cooler air from the shadows under the truck flowing through the vehicle at, at all times. For the troops to be able to enter into this vehicle without starting the engine and running the air conditioner for 20 minutes. So this puts them at risk if they're on the outside. They need to be on the inside for this armor to do any good. So you can get right in the vehicle, start it up, and you're off. There's dual air conditioning systems in there. What we wanted to have with this is when you have troops in there to actually have it to where they want the air cut down a little bit because it's too cool inside. My philosophy about this vehicle is that I don't want any stone left unturned because the customer is going to be putting lives inside. I don't want to put those lives at risk for any reason whatsoever. We'll be implementing many intellectual property designs and new ideas into this vehicle that sets it aside from all of its other competitors. The overall performance of the vehicle far surpasses what's out there right now. Everything about this thing is, is made to perform for the troops that are in it. If I saw this coming at me, I would rather give up. It's just a fantastic combination of armor and agility.